the uh, lesson notes go through one very much like this, so I'm not going to go into this in too great depth, but I just want to talk about theory, I guess, for you. A couple things to think about. You have two triangles. You have this one here, and then you have uh, this one beside it, right here. And um, you need to label one of the pieces of the sides, like x here, and this other piece would be 50 minus x. It doesn't matter which side's the x and which is the 50 minus x, but once you label that. The other thing that's really important is this height. This height here is common to both of the uh, both of the triangles. And so what's going to happen is you're going to get an equation dealing with this triangle with an H in it, and you're going to set up an equation with the other triangle, and it will have an H in it. And then, because H is physically the same for both equations or both triangles, you can equate them and then solve it. And again, I'm not going to do too much here. Maybe I'll just set this up a little bit. Tangent of 32 is h over 50 minus x. And tangent of 40 is h over x. Now if I cross multiply these two items, I get h equals tangent of 32 times 50 minus x. And over here I get h equals tangent of 40 times x. Now what I want you to notice is that this h and this h are both equal. And so you are able to set the two equations, this, then must be equal to this. Now the good news, even though that seems fairly technical, the good news is there are x's involved here and here. But that's a single variable and you should be able to solve anything with a single variable at this stage. If this wasn't enough help, look closely at the lesson um, video and it's much more detailed.